think, especially as women, we have a lot of shame and conditioning around sexuality and pleasure and that it's bad or it's so taboo or, oh my gosh, like I don't sell pleasure, you know, or like our body image. There's so many things that we've been conditioned around. So there's a a huge unlearning process (laughs) of, okay, let's break that stuff down what is no longer serving us and really identify and release the things that are no longer serving us in our lives so that we can move forward in a different way. And then once we break through all of that, then it's really about embracing that eroticism and really doing practices to integrate this into every day and to really make it really integrate it in our bodies and embody it. You know, it's one thing to talk about it, but I, the way that I like to work with women is through a series of challenges because I don't believe that any change comes from having a conversation. I believe it. Hey there, my friend. Welcome to the Powerful and Passionate Healthcare Professionals podcast. I'm your host, Sabrina. I am a cardiothoracic surgery PA with a background in public health and neuroscience. I'm also your peak performance coach. I had to say no to working extreme long hours where I was always on call and feeling exhausted, underappreciated, and undervalued, and said, heck yes, to a life and career that elevates my energy and passion without compromising my health and sanity. Now, I'm among the mission to support ambitious healthcare professional like you with a demanding career to become a confident leader who are living purposefully and fulfilled to truly be both a powerhouse in your career and a passionate person in life. Let's start our journey today. Hello, hello, everyone. This is Sabrina, your host for the Powerful and Passionate Healthcare Professionals podcast. Thank you for all of you for joining us today because we have another exciting episode. So today we have Kayla joining us and she's someone who we connected really just vibed because she is an expert and she is a pleasure and sex and intimacy coach who helps women explore with their womanhood. She empowers women to break free from their conditions, starting calming and claiming their sexual power and experiencing greater intimacy and connection. Kayla is uh, someone who challenges herself and her clients to be the best version of themselves and show up unapologetically. Through coaching, workshop, and speaking, Kayla helps women get clear on their desire, release their fear and inhibitions, love themselves unconditionally, confidently, and ask what they want, embrace them pleasure, and live a fully expressive life. So everything sounds so amazing because we know it doesn't matter how much ambitious career woman you can be, how much a loving mom you can be, there's still part of us as a woman. We need to embrace our sexuality, our intimacy, having that partner with us. It's not just, oh, I found someone I'm done, right? I needed to continue to grow because that's rejuvenating in fueling ourselves as we step to that ultimate person. So it's so amazing to have you here. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much, Sabrina, for having me. It's so good to be here. Yeah. So I would love it for you to share a little bit about your story. How did you come about from everything that you want to do, this become your true mission and then empowering Mm -hmm. other women? And, you know, we chatted on your podcast before and also knowing you are in Bali to have that lifestyle (laughs) that you want also. So please share. Oh man. (laughs) Well, it's been quite a journey. So really, as far as this work in sexuality and being fully expressed and really embracing sexuality, this has been a lifelong journey for me. And I grew up in a really conservative home, a really conservative community where sex was not talked about at all. And if it was talked about, it was abstinence, right? And I was taught that you have private parts and they're for someone that you love and that's it. And like pleasure is not a thing. You know, we didn't really talk about pleasure. 
So I was always really sexually curious. So growing up, found out at a pretty young age, like how to like pleasure myself. I wanted to share that with my friends. I was really, really interested and curious about sex as I got older and yeah, wanted to explore it for myself. I knew there's something so powerful about a woman connected to her pleasure and to her desire and to her sexuality. And I just was so attracted to that for myself. And so, you know, the exploration continued and it was (laughs) quite a journey of just sort of, I, I had so much fun, to be honest. I was so much fun for me to continue to explore what I liked, who I wanted to be with, and how that also affected my life and my turn on. And, you know, when you are, like I said, when you're connected to your pleasure and your desire and your turn on, it's like your entire life is magnified, you know, like everything is firing on all cylinders and you're just like on fire. (laughs) And of course that comes with boundaries, (laughs) but generally speaking, the energy is really, really powerful. And I think for me, like the intimacy aspect is something that I learned a bit later and was a little bit more challenging and still is honestly, intimacy to me is so much more like vulnerable and scary than sex, but it also makes sex and that eroticism and that sexual energy and the pleasure you experience so much more intense and so much more pleasurable. (laughs) So that was something that I really had to to come into, you know, was actually trusting and actually being vulnerable and actually embracing the intimate part of sex and relationships, both with myself and with others. And yeah, I think throughout the journey, it became really clear to me that a lot of my female friends were not having as much fun in sex. They weren't having fun. They weren't enjoying it. They didn't ever self-pleasure. They, you know, had a lot of body shame as did I for a long time. And they would constantly come to me with questions like, how are you doing this? You know, or how are you exploring with these different genders? Or how are you exploring these new things in sex? Like, I want that. How, how can I have it? Yeah. So that kind of brings me to where I am now and, and how I started my business but it's been, it's really been a lifelong journey. You know, the first time I was telling my friends about sex and how to embrace their pleasure, I was like six. (laughs) So yeah, it feels really, really good to actually be dedicating my life to this and, and serving women in this way. I believe things about intimacy is never really what we taught in medicine. It's something that we taught about disease process. We taught about being healthy, protection, but never how do we enjoy our life as we grow as a woman, as a professional, as there's no shame into wanting what you desire. And how do you do it without having feeling like there's a struggle? right? If we don't know it, we don't know. And then if we encourage our own self to embrace our body, our image is really a form of self-love. And that's so the way that we can empower our belief system about what we want, what we deserve in life that trickles into actually you deserve more, not only to your body, your needs, you deserve on your financial gain as well. And you deserve to ask for that promotion. You deserve to also get that next product out for a higher value, right? You should take it higher. Yeah. So that triggers everything into even that small thing. You don't feel like, oh no, they just like, oh, a shy behind the doors. Actually, pleasure is pleasure, no matter what kind of area of life you are in. Yeah, that's such a good point in our society and especially in healthcare. Like it's a very masculine structured environment, right? And also, so is leadership and running a business and all of those things, all of our goals. It's so masculine and that's beautiful. We love the masculine and also it's fed by the feminine. So by taking the time to be in that more feminine flow and embrace your pleasure and just cultivate that intimacy, it really does directly feed our masculine goals and allow us to really perform at a higher level in all the other aspects. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Now in medicine, especially we know statistics show more than 80% of the workers are female. And if 80% of us are in 
are females? How come only in leadership one out of six are on the high level executives or dean of school? Now, if the so much male format right into the structure of how we work, why we work, then we should really embrace all these female powerhouses to show up. We're not just there to be a servant, right? Yes, we, the purpose is helping our patients and uh, helping those people in our life to get better in their state. But why do they even come to us in medicine is they want to change their state, right? They want to live healthier. But what does that living healthier give them? Right. It's about having these Mm -hmm. amazing relationships, knowing I can do what I love to do with pleasure. And then part of the pleasure is intimacy, is getting to be with the people that's right for you, who's supporting you and knowing what you need. So how do you usually elaborate some of the techniques with your clients? Well, I think that the first step is really getting clear on what we want. How many times have you been asked, like, what do you want? What do you want in intimacy or in sex or in your life? Like, like from a feminine energy perspective, right? Instead of those masculine goals, you know? And so most of us are super disconnected from what we actually desire. And that's step one. And then after that, I think, especially as women, we have a lot of shame and conditioning around sexuality and pleasure and that it's bad or it's so taboo or, oh my gosh, like I don't sell pleasure, you know, or like our body image. There's so many things that we've been conditioned around. So there's a a huge unlearning process (laughs) of, okay, let's break that stuff down. What is no longer serving us and really identify and release the things that are no longer serving us in our lives so that we can move forward in a different way. And then once we break through all of that, then it's really about embracing that eroticism and really doing practices to integrate this into every day and to really make it, really integrate it in our bodies and embody it. You know, it's one thing to talk about it, but I, the way that I like to work with women is through a series of challenges because I don't believe that any change comes from having a conversation. I believe it comes from taking action. And as my bio says, I'm a pleasure instigator. And that is because instigating is one of my superpowers. I'm really, really good at knowing exactly where your edge is (laughs) and helping you to stay on that edge of growth and transformation and pushing forward and, you know, actually seeing the results that you want versus going too far and shutting down or not doing anything. So that's kind of the the general process that I take a lot of women through to see those shifts. Yeah, that's amazing because if you think about it, many of us might have an idea of what we don't want. Like that's not pleasure. I don't like the way that he treat me. I don't like this way that I feel in the bedroom, but we don't exactly know what we want because maybe we haven't got pushed to the edge of pleasure yet or haven't explored something or feel like, could I, would I, should I, right? Like all of those questions instead of, if you don't try, how do you know, right? Like, right. Uh, can you explore, allow yourself to be that person first and then see, could this be something that you are someone who's just like, Oh, heck yes. Right. If we're going to be the person who's like, heck yes, in our own life decisions, right. If we're going to be the person who's heck yes in trying something as a new restaurant, should we be also heck yes in our intimate relationship? And that means we should be a heck yes in anything that we do professionally as well. That should be when you do one thing, you do it for everything of your life. Do you believe that? Yeah, absolutely. It's so interconnected. Yeah. (laughs) Amazing. So one thing I always love to ask my guests is that we all can be experts and Kayla has this amazing step to really discover yourself what you want so you can truly enjoy yourself while you enjoy life and career. We know it's hard to be an expert in every aspect but we can reflect more and see where we need to do. So I ask all my speakers to to 
take a quick three minute assessment on their whole life to find out. Yeah, what could our be our number one roadblocks in our life preventing us having that harmony? And、um, versus what could be that lever that we can really grab onto to elevate ourselves? So, Kayla, when you took the assessment, how did you feel? And when you saw the result before we hop on live, any thought popping into your head? Anything you want to change?、Mm-hmm. I mean, there's always room for improvement, and I actually think that there's a really fine line between being really happy and living in the present, and being, you know, in your pleasure in the moment, and also wanting some to continuously grow and transform. And yeah, I was not surprised at all <laughs> by my results. First of all, I really enjoyed taking the assessment. I love that kind of thing. I think it's. It's just more information for us to learn more about ourselves, you know. And so I love that. And I think I definitely see some tendencies in a lot of aspects of my life. I've got some awesome levers, you know. I've got some awesome levers. And what falls off when you know I'm like going too far in one direction, or like for instance, time, right, and quality of life to me are actually so intertwined because. I love what I do, and I spend a lot of time doing it. And also, like that means I'm super in my masculine energy a lot of the time. And where I have the most fun and pleasure and play is in my feminine energy. And so it has been a constant struggle for me to find that balance of, okay, setting more boundaries with my time, you know, and in my business and in that masculine energy, so that I can have more fun and play. In my feminine and experience a greater quality of life. So for me, that was really what I saw was the biggest area that I would love to continue to improve in. Yay! Glad that you found that useful, and then so thank you for just being so honest to take the assessment and not afraid what could it be, right? And then、mm-hmm. also just be so brave to share with our audience. So for anybody else who wanted to have a quick insight into your own life, feel free to go to sabrinarumbach.com forward slash assessment to take a quiz and to see it for yourself. And I will give you that life will as well. Before we conclude, how could people find you to get to Pick your brain. Either go to your podcast or reach out to your on social. How would you like people to find you? So my website is kaylayoder dot com, and from there you can access my podcast. You can book a call with me. You can find me on Instagram. All the things. So I would love to connect with anyone. I love, love, love that aspect of this work is just that that connection. So please reach out. Amazing! Thank you so much for giving us your time, your wisdom, and let's all live up to ourselves on our own body and really tap into our own desire. Reach out to Kayla, listen to her podcast as well, and we thank you for being here with us. We would love for you to give us a review on iTunes and tell us what you think, or if you're watching this on Facebook Live or YouTube, leave us a comment below. Thank you, guys. All right, my friend. How did you love this episode? Make sure to subscribe to our show so you can continue to build your positive intelligence for that beautiful mind of yours to live powerfully and passionate. I know this just the tip of the iceberg. You probably have a lot more question on actually how do I implement those things into my own life? Well, this is the solution. Joining us inside. The private Facebook group. Go to facebook.com for slash groups for slash powerful passionate, where I go live weekly to answer any questions that you have, and continue to put more resources for you to help you to get to that point. You can be both powerful and passionate, where you no longer working on any mundane work. And truly focusing on the things that matter, you can be both powerful and passionate, where you can overcome any mental roadblocks keeping you from success. You can be both powerful and passionate, where you feel energized from the moment you woke up to the time you go to bed. Join me, and together we can create a life where you can be both powerful and passionate.